it's a lot tougher job than than they make it look on YouTube for sure. Girls, what's up, birdies? <laughs> you guys are like, no, what's that white shit? Hi, goaty goats. Hey, Sprout. Come here. Liberty, right there. There you go. that time of the year again snow snow and snow so we got a lot of snow last night Stuart is working on clearing the driveway and stuff so if we have to go to town we can uh, which we're probably gonna be going in tomorrow but then um, I guess starting Tuesday or something or all next week we have big snowstorms coming up so we're not probably not gonna want to leave then so we're gonna get gas and all that kind of stuff while we're in town tomorrow. While I'm working, I thought maybe I would talk to you a little bit about why we haven't posted in a while. And the main reason for that is we have a friend on the mountain. Her name is Carrie, and she's got this hookup that she gets a cow every year for butcher. And um, last year, we, she asked us if we would help her butcher it out, and she gave us a quarter of her cow for us helping. So that was pretty cool. We were all over that. Um, <clears throat> and uh, it was great experience because we've never butchered a cow before, of course. So we helped her with that. And then this year she was able to score us our own cow. So we went in on a Saturday, went to this lady's house on a Saturday and we, I hate saying the word slaughtered, but that's what it is. We put down, dispatched two cows on Saturday and um, dressed them out and quartered them and then took them back to her house so they could hang and go through their little aging process. Yeah, that was a lot of work doing two cows. So that Saturday when we dispatched the two cows and um, start to finish, not including setup, because setup of course takes a little bit longer, well, takes some time anyway. Um, we did them in like four, four and a half hours for both cows. Not bad really for people that really aren't that experienced. So we were happy with that. So anyway, rest of the story is the following Saturday after they hung, we went down to process and butcher all the meat. And uh, it's a lot tougher job than, than they make it look on YouTube for sure. Um, 
we, yeah, we, we our, our cuts of meat aren't really professional looking, but still taste the same, I think, right? So in our case, we weren't worried about getting a bunch of meat to throw in the freezer because we don't have a lot of freezer space. So for me and Stuart, we normally try to can up as much meat as we can to help save our, free, our freezer space. So after processing all the meat and bringing it home, we got to work in canning. We had to cut up everything into, you know, cube everything that we were canning into bite-sized pieces and can them. And while I was working on the last of the canning, Stuart was grinding a bunch of meat that we had set aside, meat and some fat for some hamburger. So I think we ended up with, I think we ended up with like 37 pounds, something like that of hamburger. So that's pretty awesome. We use a lot of hamburger. I'll make like casseroles or, well not casseroles, really there's only one casserole that I make, but, and tacos and, you know, and, um, so we did that, and um, we're also util utilizing all the bones. We just have a little bit of bones left, but we're making uh, bone broth for the dogs, and we wanna make a batch of broth for us as well that we'll actually put the carrots in, in it and celery and some fresh herbs so we can make a beef bone stock or beef stock for us for cooking. Um, right now we're working on the last of the, uh, we're cooking down the last of the bone broth for the dogs. And then we've been canning that up as well. Butchering out a whole cow is not easy. We spent almost all day that Saturday at her place, um, butchering out three of our quarters. And then Stuart went back the next day and butchered the last quarter and I got going on getting some canning and stuff done. Actually, I wasn't able to get the canning done. I was cutting up all the meat so that way we could just can, can, can and not have to worry about cutting up any meat because it was already done. So, and that's not easy to do in a small little kitchen, I'm telling you. With both of us in there working, he was grinding and I was canning, but, we did it, we made it happen. Oh yeah, and another thing that we're gonna be making from our cow is um, tallow. Stuart saved, we saved all the fat that we could. He ground up all that fat into little tiny pieces and that made it a lot easier to, to be able to put that stuff in the freezer because we don't want it to go bad before we have time to actually cook it down and then we'll be canning that up as well. So that's my story. Eh. And I'm sticking to it. I'm gonna continue shoveling as much as I can for today. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. Live life your way. We love you. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye.